after two years, the day has finally arrived. It is time for the 2018 International Big Game Rifle Shoot, hosted by Safari Outdoor, just outside of Pretoria, South Africa. So it looks quite fast, but uh, it's, this thing is built quite um, realistically. The line comes at about 10 to 11 meters per second, and this is roughly what this machine is doing. So it looks quite fast, and it looks very intimidating, but it's actually very, very realistic. With more than 50 international guests arriving from countries like Australia, the UK, France, Sweden and Zimbabwe. More than 100 South African competitors entering for the shoot as well. The stakes were high. Here first for the uh, Dangerous Game shoot in 2012 and uh, we brought a few guys over. This time we've actually got, I think, uh, 15 or 16 Australian shooters. So we're very pleased to be back um, at, uh, at this shoot and uh, hopefully a lot of South Africans will come and join us in 2020 when the uh, shoot rotates to Australia. Hi, my name's Tim Cooper. Uh, I'm here as part of the English team. Uh, to shoot the big game rifle shoot. Um, we are delighted to be here as a group. This is my fourth trip to South Africa and uh, I brought with me this time my wife and my daughter which was a slightly unusual diversion from normal. We still managed to sneak in a little bit of hunting because it would be rude to come here uh, and we are really excited about tomorrow. Uh, the trials and tribulations of shipping ammunition and shipping guns is all worth it when you come to a place like this with a crowd, it's well organized, uh, the, the, the camaraderie is obvious and the welcome has been really, really great. So looking forward to tomorrow. I have a little feeling we might get our asses kicked, if I can say ass on camera, but uh, it's going to be a good day and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'd very much like to thank Brian as chairman of this year's event for, uh, for inviting us. Um, the course of fire tomorrow is is quite a difficult um, type of layout a lot of the guys aren't used to shooting so many shots they're generally used to shooting about 16 to 18 shot this is a 30 round event um, it's important to make it substantial the guys are coming over from you know from all over the world and uh, they need to have a good shoot and it needs to be substantial um, one of the ranges in specific is an internationally recognized uh, event the special snap the balance of it is basically Basically, locally nominated um, events that we use locally. So, um, you know, we have our DGS shoots uh, uh, every every uh, twice a year, and they generally have any, uh, animal targets. This year, we're having those four ranges with animal targets, as well as the international event called the Special Snap, which I think is going to be a challenge, especially for the South Africans because they're not used to it. So, I think I think overall, I think the South Africans are do, going to do well. The Australians do well every year and hopefully we can give them a bit of a run for their money this year um, but yeah I'm holding thumbs if we can give them a good go. Good evening ladies and gentlemen it's an absolute privilege to welcome all of you from Safari and Outdoor but more importantly for the first time on behalf of the South or the South Africans hosting the International Dangerous Game Shoot and I think you can give you all yourselves a, a warm hand. 
Hunting Dangerous Game is a time-honored tradition um, by gentlemen from all across the world, from all cult cultures and walks of life. So it's an absolute honor to host you for the next two days. I'm not going to step into the bear trap of uh, thanking individuals by name, but I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our teams and our friends from around the world who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make tonight and tomorrow a huge success. I have been told that tomorrow's uh, shoot will be challenging in honor of facing or potentially facing a death charge at some stage of your life in the bush. So we're looking forward to see you perform at your utmost, to try your best and to have fun. I think that's the important part of it. Range number one is a special snap. It's an it's Australian format of shooting. It's where there's eight shooters standing next to each other, um, shooting on 25 yards on a, on a, on a target that, that's a score target. And all of them, all eight shoot together. And you've got 35 seconds to shoot eight shots. That's the whole essence of that range. The line ready. Ja, nee, dat betekent niet. Ja, kijk. 65, niet bad. That's uh, 75. That is the best score today, 75. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So range number two is the Haley Arc range. That's, uh, it's, it's an Australian format as well. Um, it's the same target as range number one that we're shooting on. It's a score target. And the distances is 30, 20 and 10 meters. So you shoot two shots on, on each of the distances and it's, it's an accuracy thing and like always there's a time factor in, involved. Carry condition.
Range number three is our lion range. It's four targets, one shot in every target. So you sit in a makeshift blind, shoot your first shot, then you get up, shoot another stationary target. Then there's a charging line. So you shoot at this charging line stationary, and as you shoot on the report, that target starts moving, and you shoot your last shot. Right, you finished unload choke here. Right, bolt over for me. No, it's good. Right, shoot, are you ready? Stand by. Right, you finished unload choke here. Yeah. Right, shooter, you may load and make ready. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. You may load and make ready. Right, you finished. Unload shot, clear. Very, very nicely done. Right, you finished unload choke here. Yeah. Right, close your rifle.
Right, Shido, you ready? Finished, unload show, clear? Right, the altar. Right, you may not make ready. Okay, finish, unload, show clear. Right, make your right. Oh, not even the cut of the line, eh? Fun, eh? Good times. Too fast, but not too bad. Shooter, you made a lot of make Shoot, are you ready? I'm not going to take it. Stand by! So range number four is the buffalo range. The, all of these is a combination of accuracy and speed, of course. So again, it's, it's four shots, four different targets, and it's three body shots in the buffalo and then one head shot, which is a difficult shot. But if you can hit the head shot, you get full marks for that. And that's Pain when your eyes don't work. Just make sure my scope's sorted. <laughs> Finish 
Nella cerchia, eh? il chiesto. Range 5 is our Krokenipo range. So there's four shooters shooting together. They're all shooting off X bags. So it's the gun is, is on a stable position shooting off the X bag. It's four shots as well, two in the crocodile, two in the hippo, and it's about between 60 and 70 meters. So this is where the accuracy comes in much more than the speed of it. So a gun with a with a scope or something like that will most, most, most probably work better on that range than on, on the other ranges. Ik mooi langs elkaar, niet de verkeerde plek. Goed scoor. Je gaat het tweede doen en dit rijden. Waarom is het niet? Net zo, Bikkie, rechts is kijk van allemaal zo. Range number six is our Barsa range. So Barsa, the Big Balls Association in South Africa is doing that range. It's a wonderful range. It's a very practical range shooting wise or hunting wise then. So how it works is you start off with two shots on an elephant. It's two brain shots. And as you shot those two shots, you moved a little bit to the side and you go through a gate. As soon as you go through the gate, there's two pivoting targets, which gives you four seconds each. So the one is open, it gives you four seconds, you have to take the shot and the other one then pivots again and you've got another four seconds to shoot it. And what that does is it just gives you that real time experience of what would have happened if you shot above an elephant and it would turn away and 
give you an another shot and another shot. So it's a very, very practical range to shoot. One hit and one miss. Miss. Two miss. Two miss. Two miss was too high. Miss. Okay. So you got the spine shot. Good. Too low. There it is. Slow. Okay. Slow. Hier, dan moet je vannacht hier gaan en je moet lijken.
dankie. In die sak, tyd 2247. Good. Yeah, it's telling you. We just replaced this. You were supposed to. It's there. Sir, Andre. Copy flight key. Ik heb niet bal in het die laatste scooter. Je moet allemaal klaar zijn. Oké, tijd. 25, 3, 9, maak veilig, zeg ik. For the team event it was team 27 of Ronald Nell, uh, Rion van Heer, van Heeren, Etienne de Beer, and AJ from Ryan. Well done. In second place, we have Riku Kutzer, Ruan Kutzer, Chris Swart, and Henry Griffiths. And in first place for the day, we have Marco van Niekerk, Stefan Janssen van Rensburg, Peter van Abar, and Greg Glanville. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was in this group. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. All right. Over to the top three. And in third place, Stefan Fischer. <laughs> <laughs> Second place of the day, Francois Hoffman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Top gun for the day with a solid performance, Stuart Bell. Express, David Sherrick.
What a day. A big thank you to Safari Outdoor for making this day possible with all the effort and the prizes they brought to the table. For all the international and the local competitors, without you guys, a shoot like this is definitely not possible. We're looking forward to see you in 2020 at the next international dangerous game shoot hosted by the Australians.